Welcome to My Long Island TV, the show that features the people and events that make Long Island great. As a grad student at CW Post, Christopher Hopkins wrote a musical play for his thesis called All's Fair in Love. The dedicated cast tell how they all participated in bringing his idea to life. The Marcy Mazzola Foundation held its annual run to raise money for the Huntington YMCA, the Donate Life Organ Donors Network, and many others. Organ recipients and organ donor families attend the Marcy Mazzola run in an effort to raise awareness on how to become an organ donor. Meet lifelong Met fan Lou Reardon, who now has the heart of a Yankee fan and honors his hero's memory by rooting for the Bronx Bombers. Meet Beth Page Federal Credit Union CEO Kurt Kudaleski, whose corporate volunteerism puts a new meaning into community banking. Now let's get started. Hello. My name is Christopher Hopkins, and we're the cast of All's Fair in Love. And, and welcome, welcome to My Long Island. rehearsing today's uh, this is our second performance of this show we did it once last semester I think it was in December or February I can't remember and uh, so now we're doing it one more time because it was on Super Bowl Sunday and not many people were able to come so they wanted to see it it's called all's fair in love and Chris Hopkins he's actually playing the piano he wrote the music he composed the entire thing and he wrote the script and he did everything and it's for his master's thesis when he graduated the music stop Scene, lights, the, the stage lights come on, just like that. And the pin rush lights down at all times. Leave these lights on for me. I began writing this in the summer, around May 2009. It was to be used for a graduate music thesis for my master's degree in music composition and theory. It's a very big endeavor. Not many graduate students would ever consider it because it's more than just writing parts. And, and having it performed. It's also directing and having the, the actors and actresses understand what they're singing about, how they should portray it in their, their bodies. There are 16 songs that are interspersed throughout the musical, ranging from an intense rhythmic drive to very romantic standard, American standard style, something that Frank Sinatra or Bing Crosby would sing. George is the father of the Johnson family, and he's, he's a loving man, but he's got a little secret life on the side, and they're trying to figure out what's going on exactly with me, because I am meeting with Sylvia on the side, as my children know, because they're following me. It turns out that I'm not as bad as everybody thinks I am. I'm just simply organizing my high school reunion with a fabulous dancer. <laughs> Chris approached me and um, asked me, he said, you know, I'm writing a musical. Um, if you're interested, we're having auditions. And I thought about it and I thought, well, I'm not really that dramatic or theatrical. And so this really isn't up my alley, but you know what, it's Thursday, so I'll give it a shot. <laughs> She's pretty much like, you know, a typical just teenage girl who uh, 
just trying to find her way in the world and she, she's very curious about love. She's just really fun to play. I, I love her. <laughs> she's great. <laughs> I'm actually the oldest in my family, so playing this position I kind of had to just act as I would if I had an older brother, so that was pretty easy to do. And um, with the whole rom romantic part, um, I'm actually almost going to be getting married soon, so it kind of was able to, I was really able to uh, just you know, act as a very, very loving person and just, you know, put all of that into the show also. It's like a pre-engagement kind you're, of thing. You're pre-engaged, pre yeah. <laughs> I'm usually in this type of role that's the, you know, the love interest in the musical, so he's used to it. He's just like, you know, obviously just think about me. <laughs> if something should happen, call me. But fair enough, I'll be there to make you my support. I'm actually in the computer science department. Contrary to a lot of the students there are music students, but I really enjoy music in my life. It's something I love to do. I'm involved in chambers and the chorus here. I've been in the vocal jazz. It's just something I, it's so much fun. I've been involved in theater before and that's why I'm doing it again. I was really happy to be able to be in a part of another musical because I haven't been in since high school. A lot of people are very surprised when they hear that, that I'm a computer science major and I'm doing the music stuff. But it's a lot of fun. Everyone pretty much knows that I do the music stuff. I, I've done dancing, I did some acting, so I'm also, you know, well involved into that field. But computer science is also, you know, it's, it gets me thinking. So it's more of the logical side of me. I'm a kind of logical person in that sense. <laughs> oh, admit it. You were interested in dating when I took the initiative. I mean, I am very persuasive, but you wouldn't approach me. Her issue is that she really just wants to jump in a relationship with Martin, but he has other things going on, and she needs to understand that, really. I mean, she, she is very pushy, and he has some things that he has to take care of, and she doesn't understand, so she really just has to trust him, which is where the song You Must Trust Me comes in. I'm really not that pushy. I'm not that creepy. I'm not that crazy. I'm pretty shy when before I meet someone. And I, I don't get that way until after I meet them, and I'm not bossy at all, so it's not like me. So it's kind of fun to play someone who isn't like me at all. If I have one legacy, I'd like, like the songs to live on. They're, they're American Standard style, so these songs can be taken out of context and be used in a, in a cabaret setting, or you might find it in a nightclub, especially in the city. These songs lend themselves very well. They're, they can be independent of the material. Oh, stay. 